Hey everybody, how you all doing? Are you a-okay? In your neck of the woods? What up, what up? Manners and respect. Are your girl, Debbie from down a yard, man. Yeah? Oh no pretty? Oh no hear my croaking voice? My family, you all need to pray for me because I'm having some serious allergies. Okay? If you're new to my channel, welcome. And thank you for making it West Indian Delights. Yeah, man. Thank you all my new subscribers. Thank you for my views. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And welcome once more to the West Indian Delights Jamaican cooking show. Right? So let's get something on the road here. Follow me, man. Now today, I have this here. This is a source of as most of you may know, riding on it. And this is a small one. It's a fruit. I think it's in other countries, but I don't know whatever the name they call it. But we call it up in Jamaica. Okay? This is a small one. So I want to show you all how you go about preparing a decent glass or a decent jug of up juice. Let's get started. So first and foremost, this is how I do mine. It is well ripe. It was ripe on the tree. I picked it, washed it, and it was in the fridge, right? So you wash it before you refrigerate it or wash it before you start cleaning it, peeling off the skin. Here we go. I always use a spoon. It works better for me. So you use a spoon and you peel it right off, right? I want you to get right in on it, family. You must wash your hands. Your hands must be properly washed before. I forgot to say that. So, we're getting off the skin. And when it's properly ripe, and you're getting off the skin, this is what it looks like. Right? Get right in. Now the skin is off. But we have a part in here, somewhere in here. Get right in. This part here is like the breadfruit. We call it the art. We don't use it. Look at it. You see it? All right. It has some seeds. Some people try to de-seed it. If you have the time, you can, but I don't normally do that for me. I don't have the time there. Some of them have, depending on the nature of the fruit, some of them has more seeds. Right. Let me get my hands washed. Because as you can see, it's a little messy. When it's ripe, it's like that. Can't get away from that. That's the nature. Right? So, I'm going to put it in my blender. I'm going to put it. Once your blender has the stir speed, that's how I do mine. You can do it another way. Some people put their hands in it. But I have graduated from that decades ago. That was the primitive way of doing it. But now, you have your blender. And once you have the steer speed, you can get it on it. Now, this is the size of the saucer. Now, family, I'm going to show you the amount of water that you'd like to put on this saucer. Okay? If you want to use cold water, you can feel free. You can feel free to use ice cold water. This is like about two cups of water. So I don't think I'm going to pour all. So this is like about a cup and a quarter of water. Because, family... It has a, it, it's thick. It's supposed to be thick. You have some people that put a lot of water. And I'm going to show you. With this, with this size saucer, you wouldn't use more than about a cup and a quarter or a cup and a half of water. If it's bigger or if it's two or three, you'll use more. I'll show you when I'm through. So we're going on the, the, the unit here now. And we're going to press steer. Once, the, the, no other arm um, speed but steer. If, if you pick all the seeds, fine. But once the seeds are in steer, when it steers it, the seeds will come out whole. The soil sap will be properly processed, but the seeds will come out whole. Okay. You're just finished. Look at it. Zoom right in. See the seeds here? They are still whole when you use it on the steer speed. Okay. All right now. I'm going to rinse my bowl here because I'm going to show you. 
Now, you have to do some straining. So you're gonna pour it into your strainer. All right. But you've got to do some work. So you have to use your spoon to get it out. You don't wanna use more water than this, family. If you use more water than this, it's, it's a very nutritious drink. It's very nutritious. It, it, it builds the nervous system, right? It strengthens you, it builds, it, this is for the nerve. So if you want to get, you don't want the more water, the stronger the better. See what I'm talking about? To put it on the steer speed and the seeds are whole. If you put it on any other speed, they're gonna be crushed and you're going to get the blackness. You know what I'm talking about. So with a size sauce up like this, you don't want any more water. Get right in, let them see what I'm speaking. So you use a spoon and you rub it out. You put in a little. You don't know it, go may have tell you if any little arthritis. You work on the shoulder, you put a little working out. You see it? Okay. This is how I do my sauce up family. Right? Okay. Now, I'm gonna pour it into a jug for you. So you can see what I'm talking about. Look at it. This is the juice. You don't need any more water on this side, saucer. So, so, you know, I look no long water, something. Because if you're long water it out, it does have no use to you. Okay, is it in there? I'm gonna use some condensed milk to sweeten. Feel free. I use sometimes I use evaporated milk because you know me I'm a, you know me and evaporated milk already. But if you use evaporated milk, you might want a little G sugar, not the dark brown sugar, because it will change it. So you put some of your condensed milk, sweeten to taste, sweeten to taste to you. But I would suggest go low because you know everybody trying to go low on sugar and salt, and you know I always emphasize and you going low. Look at it. Look at it, get right in. Family, some people do it with lime and sugar. I really don't like it. This is the original way when me know from me, a little girl I grew up in a rural part of Jamaica where they would call country, right? This is the way, when you do it this way, it is a real nutritious drink. It strengthens the nerves. It relaxes the body. And all of you, my good up, good up, big, big time, man, I'm fans. Them. Oh, no, no, this. Me know, no, love this, you know. Yeah, man, so you all your mouth watering right here when you see it now. So this is how your sauce up must look. Now, me just going to grate a little bit. Just a little troop of nutmeg, because I always tell you to go low on the nutmeg. And listen to me, I'm going to tell you one day why. I'm not ready to tell it. I'm going to tell you one day. And you're going to get the creeps when you hear why I said that. Go low on the nutmeg. And a pinch. Just like that. If you have more, you put a little more of salt. Look at it, family. I'm going to pour it in the glass. I'm not going to pour it over ice. What I do like when I do it like this, I leave it in the refrigerator to freeze, to be well cool near the freezing point. Or you could use cold ice water to blend it, right? But I don't want to put any ice in there to water it. I want it to be like this. So my drink is true. I'm gonna taste just for you all. Wow. Wow, I'm gonna pour it. Get right in, let them see it. Ooh, ooh. But some know, say, some are honored men. The Jamaican man, they will know how the sauce up thing go. They love it like how Jesus loves little children. A perfect, decent glass. Let me give you a little arm. Let me put in a little straw. Mm -hmm. And we have a little, we have a little thing here. You know, don't know. Wow. Mm -hmm. Perfect, decent glass of sauce of juice from West Indian Delights. From my kitchen to yours, enjoy. Don't accept anything less than this as sauce of juice from anybody else. Listen to me, man. Debbie from Donga Yard, sign me a sign up before I do so. Let me extend again to you all a big thank you, my new subscribers. Thank you for my views. Thank you. And remember to thumbs up the videos. 
share them with your friends and your family and please if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so and listen to me once more source up juice Yaman, yeah, real original old time long time jamaican glass of sour sap juice and it's coming from west indian delights they be from dunga yard Boop.